Yeah, and I think one thing in particular, um, Nicole, is thinking about how we can leverage, and I, I think you sort of alluded to this in your intro, how we can leverage the existing workforces out there to shift a little bit to newer and different technologies. You know, I think what Wells said is completely true about the role that um, regulatory bodies or even individual utilities have to play in that. Um, I can tell you from my personal experience, the worst thing you can do to, um, to drive market transformation is to have programs that start and stop and start and stop with no continuity because that doesn't give the trades any confidence in making investments or shifting directions. But I think, Nicole, the one that I personally hear about the most is in programs, you know, in, let's say, in electric programs where we're trying to promote heat pumps and having, you know, hearing directly from customers that, you know, my contractor told me they didn't want to install a heat pump, you know, and I think it's for, for a variety of reasons. I think it's still, you know, in many cases, in many geographies, still in an early adoption stage. I don't think, you know, they've committed in all cases to getting the right training or the right certifications, you know, from different organizations to get there, not really being aware of, you know, sort of the global, you know, impacts. And, and that's really where I think we come in, in that trade ally management and trade ally development, making sure that trades have full awareness of utility programs, federal programs, understand the direction the industry is going so that we can help them keep up and maybe even lead the industry as opposed to getting left behind. And so it's certainly an iterative process. There's not a really a single answer, but I do think it comes from working hand in hand with the trade allies to, to really keep the ball moving forward and making sure that you know all their questions get answered, all of their concerns get abated, and that way they're comfortable moving forward with the technology that you know the state or the utilities is trying to promote. Everyone's always always fearful of new things, so we need to help get over that uh, over that uh, over that hurdle.